I felt like kind of pushed to the side, not super valuable on the team. If this opportunity comes now, you can take it or you cannot take it, but you have the rest of your life to think about it. I just jumped that last jump and I just like kind of went for it. So in high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So while I was doing track and field, I was doing cheer, and I really ended up loving track and field. And UVU recruited me. So I just started track and field. That was my only draw to college because I didn't know what I wanted to study. My first year of track, um, I was also very intimidated because there's all of these like older athletes. They just looked so cool, and they're so experienced, and I'm just new. I felt like kind of pushed to the side not super valuable on the team. But as time went on, I'm on the track team, I gained more confidence, I got faster, I got stronger, my pole vaulting got better, I was like a real competitor within our conference. At outdoor conference, we were in Washington State. I just knew I had to just like, kind of turn off my brain and just go for it and fight for it. So every jump, I just did my best. I kept going, people were getting out. And I remember I was like, this next jump, if I get it, like I'm gonna break the school record. I just jumped that last jump and I got it. And I was like, wow, I have the school record right now. And it wasn't like I was jumping up and down. I just was like, I'm exhausted, but I have the school record. And I just kind of sat down and just took a moment to myself. One thing that my coach would always say, he's like, you only have four or five years of college, especially doing college sports. And you have the rest of your life to look back on it. And I feel like I've, apply that to my life with my, my business and my ideas that I've come up with. If this opportunity comes now, you can take it or you cannot take it, but you have the rest of your life to think about it and like what could have happened. And I had this class with Pete Robinson and he challenged the class to start a business with $1. He said you could use like supplies at home if you have any. And I remember I had like a little tube of beads so I took those beads and I started making beaded rings like these and I started making an Instagram account and selling these like silly beaded rings but like beaded jewelry is popping up again. So that was what really made me think like this could be a real like the real deal right now. So I remember like reaching out to Brianna at UVU. She's the director of the UVU Entrepreneurship Institute. And I was like, I have this idea. I know it sounds silly, but I was like, I feel like it could be really good. And I remember she told me she was like, hey, I believe in you and I feel like you're the type of person that's gonna make it happen. And I was like, I am. I am the type of the person that's gonna make it happen. I worked with her a little bit. I worked with my professors, especially Vance Goff and Pete Robinson because they were the two like inspirational teachers for me. So I opened my shop, it's called Beatology. So I remember like with everyone that came, like nobody had like room to walk just cause it was like um, so tight in there. And I just remember feeling like on top of the world after that night. So we had a really successful grand opening. And then the next morning, like at eight in the morning, I had another business competition I signed up here for at UVU. And I remember I was like, oh my goodness, I don't think I can do it, I'm so exhausted. But I woke up, showed up to the business competition, did well. I remember I tied for first with another competitor who's my friend now, and I just was like, wow, finally I can rest. But little did I know I could not rest because I now I had to run the store. Not just have a grand opening party, I actually had to run it. I just kind of got to work. I would work the evening shifts. I'd go to school in the morning, go to track and field practice, then go straight to beatology until about nine o'clock, then do my homework and then go to bed. And that was my life for like four months, which like four months isn't that long. I was like, I know I can do it but it was really hard. Beadology is a place where you come as you are and then you make something that you love. So you make a beaded accessory, whether it's a bracelet, necklace, earrings, rings, whatever you want. And you get to pick out the beads, you get to pick out like if you want a cute little charm on it, whatever you want, it can have like a certain word on it or meaning to you, but it's so much fun to see what people come up with. And that's like my favorite part of my job. My advice to UVU students is just to go out and meet people, whether it's the person you're sitting next to in class or someone in the hall or whatever. It's always easier just to say hi. You never know what that connection might lead to. Cause a lot of people that I met in class or I met in the halls or at the different like activities at school, they were like super monumental to being able to like build my business and to be able to build a good like network of people who like in the future they become customers or they become like your friends. They all have different skills. We're all studying great things. So everybody can help everybody just by meeting people.